What's up everybody, Hex here. Welcome back to another Jagged Alliance 3 video. And today we're gonna be showing how to build the melee character that you've seen in the showcase video. In any case, I think this is the best melee build in the game currently. So before we go into the character creation, I just wanted to mention that I'm using a mod that allows me to use the skin and the voice of the aim mercs for my IMP merc. So yeah, as you can see, you can use any of them. I find the vanilla IMP characters super boring. So I really like this mod. I'm going to link it in the description if you guys want to check it out. It doesn't break the game in any way. It's strictly for visuals and sound. Otherwise, it's completely vanilla IMP creation. So yeah, choose whoever you want, whoever you like. Now for the skills, we're going to go zero medical, zero explosives, zero mechanical. We're going to do 85 on everything except for marksmanship marksmanship will leave a 40 you can train marksmanship later if you want to use some shotgun or something but with this build like there's no point in using guns melee is just super op so next up we have this screen and here guys is one of the most important things in the whole build so for sure you have to get martial arts and hand to hand both of them it's absolutely a deal breaker if you don't get those two and you've seen already some of it in the showcase video like the interrupt attacks and martial arts is just very very powerful because not only it improves your accuracy with melee attacks but it also improves your defense so you can stand and fight with all these melee enemies zombies whatever you want they will be missing you and you will be hitting them back almost always now keep in mind, there are enemies in the game who has this skill, martial arts, so it will be a little harder to hit them and they will most likely hit you more often than most other enemies. If you didn't know, in this game, the enemies can have all the perks that you can have. So that includes those two. Now this is how you start. And now let's hop in on the character that is already maxed out so we can continue the explanation about the perks and how it, everything works. And here we go, that's how she looks actually in terms of skills. Now that's the end of the game, so she's pretty trained as you can see. So here's a quick tip here. As you can see, I got five studying. So basically what I did is saved up all my magazines until I'm like over 90. And in this case with health, when I got to 95, I had five magazines. So I popped them all at once. So I had an early 100 health. Same for agility, strength and so on. So keep those magazines because it takes a little longer for the last points to be earned compared to like the earlier points, right? Now let's go to the perks. So maximum level is 10, right? So we got nine perks. And in my opinion, that's the best possible allocation that you can have. I can offer a bit of alternative one, but I think it's not as strong. But let's go with this one for now and we can talk about the alternative later. So the first perk point is going to be full body contact. This is absolutely massive. It's one of the most important skills in the build. It's one of our grit builders. So for the people that are not so familiar with the game yet, I want to explain quickly what grit is. Grit is basically temporary HP or shield that goes on top of your health. So when you have grit, when you take damage, you will lose grit points before your health. So as you can see here, every time we attack, we build 15 grit. If we hit twice, we're going to have 30 grit. And this is the cap. You can't have more than 30 grit at once. So we have a few ways to build the grid on the build. One is that. The other skill that gives this grid is Vanguard. This one allows us basically to stay out of cover and be tanky. And also builds us 15 extra grid if we are adjacent to an enemy. And you've seen in the showcase video, I always try to end my turn close to an enemy. So I can get the extra grid and I can get the opportunity attack. And it's a very powerful combo. In the third tier in health, we have Calm Under Fire. This is another skill that produces grit for us. And it also allows us to transfer three unspent AP to our next turn. So we have a few ways to build our shield and they're all important. 
because sometimes you won't be able to hit anybody sometimes you won't be able to reserve ap all of them combined will keep you shielded in most cases of course you're not going to be invulnerable you have to still think how you play especially if you're playing on mission impossible because the enemies are deadly and ai is ruthless so back to the core skills at level three we want to grab hit and run very very important skill again it allows you to spend your ap P for attacks instead of wasting it for running. At level 4, we're going to get Vanguard. I've already explained about Vanguard. At level 5, we're going to go for the maximum HP, which will be the third skill in the health category. So then we can unlock the final tier. Now for level 6, you can either go with Calm Under Fire or you can go for Opportunistic Killer. I personally went for Opportunistic Killer because it allowed me to do these one-shot crits when I'm doing opportunity attacks. It can be very useful earlier in the game when your strength is not maximum and you're doing slightly lower damage. Those crits would one-shot most enemies. Of course, if you're having trouble getting enough grit and keeping your grit up, you could go for Calm Under Fire. At level 7, I suggest grabbing Killing Spree because at that time you'll be hitting 2 or 3 targets almost every turn. So that extra 50% damage will be applied all the time. Just keep in mind that until you have 100 strength, you're not gonna do 50%, you'll do a little less because it's based on your strength skill. For level 8, I went with Calm Under Fire to have that extra attack and go and unleash fury with full grit ready to destroy. At level 9, go for shock assault. It's obviously very strong, 30% crit chance with melee weapons and firearms. And at level 10, battle focus. This will give you that two extra AP. That's how I got super high AP per turn. When you factor in the morale boost, well rested, 100 agility and this perk, you can get, I don't know what, 24 AP or something. So for those of you who missed the showcase video, it will be linked in the description below, but I wanna put a little footage here just to see how powerful the build is. We're just gonna run in here in between all the zombies. This is again Mission Impossible difficulty. I'm, I'm just gonna stand here in the middle. There you go, martial arts. He hit us for 15. 12 now. Every time we hit back, we get 15 grid back. Oh, poor guy. You got left alone there. So that's another thing I wanted to mention here. When you get hit by multiple enemies, they'll hit you very often in the arms, which will decrease your accuracy. That's another reason you have to get martial arts for sure. Because even with the accuracy debuff from getting shot in the arms, you'll still be hitting most of your shots, if not all of your shots. The only problem comes when you have an enemy with martial arts and then you have accuracy debuff, then you might miss a few times, but that's rare. And now lastly, we want to talk about gear of course go and get the thing if you don't know how to get it check my other video on the channel for the unique and rare items that i made earlier when it comes to armor use medium armor if you're really good at the game you might try to use light armor and then get this perk for extra free movement it's a little bit risky in my opinion that one fast runner i would love to see how kill zone works with this because you'll be hitting everybody twice when you're doing your opportunity opportunity attacks although we gotta give up a lot of good stuff to get kill zone because we need two more actually three more perk points let's see we can give up maybe those two and i don't know this one or this one i don't think it's worth it but it's still gonna be funny to hit everybody twice maybe we can give up the crit because if you're hitting them twice you don't need the crit but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like the video on your way out. Subscribe for the channel for more awesome content. And I'll see you in the next one. Hex out.